yo guys um sorry the sun is reflecting and um yeah it's um it's uh, sunny today and um i've just finished working out there is no better spot where i can go to make this video so you guys are just gonna like bear with me so uh, uh, how the new year be already I be, things don't begin to the go away <laughs> I mean, you don't the fall back on your old habit and all that. Eh? Anyways, how not day still Henry Krakow. So um, when I was young, growing up, I mean, when I was I, uh, when I was growing up. I used to be very active in the church. I used to be um, an altar boy. For those of you, for those of you who are Catholics, you know who an altar boy is and um, their jobs. You know, well, at that time, back in the days, we used to call ourselves um, mass savers. If you are Catholic, you know what I'm talking about. So I used to be very active in the church. I think uh, till uh, it was like that till I was um, 12 or 13. Yeah, that was when I had an epitome and um, that something wasn't right. <laughs> that was when I started asking questions, you know, and um it all started on the day of my baptism you know if you're a catholic you know what you know what i'm about to say now it all started on the day of my baptism we were asked to change our native names and take up um, english um, uh, an english name we were told because we asked i think i ask i ask my um my um, what is the name they used to call them then the Catis uh, guy something like that so i asked him why why are we required to take english uh, names instead of being baptized with our native names you know he said yeah because um it's in it's the catholics um um what is it called that you that any intended um a child who's to be baptized has to pick up a, a saint's name like at that time you know we have like saint anthony saint anthony saint john saint paul saint uh, augusta saint cyprian all that that you have to take and there are no saint uh, ikechuku there are no saint uh, mobi oh, yeah there is a saint to be in in nollywood <laughs> but um there are no Saint Jag uh, uh, Saint Yagubu. There are no Saint um, Emeka. There are no Saint Imo. There are no Saint Tutbe. No Saint uh, Enobon. You know what I'm talking about. No Saint Shola. No Saint Akimbola. You know, there are all only Saint Anthony, Saint Paul, Saint Stephen, Saint Smith, Saint John, Saint. And Saint Matthew, Saint, um, Saint, Saint, yeah, you know, they are all English who they say Greek names and all that. So, um, we were asked to drop our native names and pick up these names. I was given the name Emmanuel, which I have never used till this day. <laughs> but so, um, that was when my problems them started. Now that time, now I begin get problems with the church. In fact, that was the last time I went to church, I, and since then I haven't been to a church, any church since then, and I'm forty something years old. And this happened like in my ten or twelve, eleven, thirteen years. Uh, this thing, when I was thirteen or twelve. So then till now, it's been a very long time. In fact, I don't too believe in all that, all those religious God thing again. 
I'm a spiritualist. I'm an African bona fide. I'm an African. I believe in our African spirituality. I, I believe in our in our African um, spiritualism. <laughs> I, I believe in what they call voodoo. I believe in an answer. Ananza is the supreme deity of the Bibio Sanific. Ananza. So I, I'm this, I mean, I'm a hardcore, diehard believer of Ananza. So I am, why am I saying this? Um, you know, in my previous video, I said I was going to talk about um, fasting. Why do people fast? Some people, 80% of the people who fast, they fast for religious purposes. Either they've been told by a certain man of God or by a certain prophetess to fast, that when they fast, miracle will happen and some problems will be taken care of. <laughs> and, they, and people fast. Some people fast for the health benefit of fasting. But no matter your purpose and reason for fasting, it all boils down to one thing. Fasting, like I said in my previous video also, fasting has got nothing to do with religion and before i continue I, i'm one of those guys who don't believe in miracles i don't believe in um in um uh, I, I don't believe in magic i don't believe in miracles i believe in a uh, cause and effect action and in reaction i believe that anything that happens has to happen or had to happen anything that is happening was destined and made designed to happen nothing happens randomly that's what i believe nothing happens um, um how do i put it like rick will say i i don't believe in them um, um, say it was something happens. Oh, that was like a, a no. I, I I don't believe in what is it called a, 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 a deja vu. No, I don't believe in that. Every action has a reaction. That's what I believe. Anything that happened, and anything that's going to happen in the future, is designed and was designed to happen so i don't believe in miracles i don't believe in magic in fact i i hardly believe in faith i don't believe in faith i believe i believe in cause and effect so before i forget let me let's go back to fasting so no matter your reason for fasting no matter why, who, who, whom, who is telling you to fast, it all boils down to one thing. Your fasting is going to have one outcome. Health. Your fasting, whatever you, whatever reason you're fasting for, whatever your targeting, whatever your target is, Whatever reason you, you you have been or you are being asked to fast, it's going to have one benefit. And that benefit it's, is going to be your health. It's going to affect your health. It's, it is going to affect your state of mind. Nothing else. It is not going to miraculously bring you money. It's not going to miraculously improve your business. Though 
it might bring you money indirectly being that when you fast there are some certain reactions there are some certain things that will happen to your body that would, that would that would happen to your state of mind will happen in your you know in you know in your body at the molecular level that will change things the way you behave the way you think the way you interact with people the way you like focus the way you concentrate then maybe you can better concentrate on your business and better concentrate on uh, like you, you will start having a clear mind you start thinking straight you will start having better ideas and you will start putting these ideas into practice and these ideas these things would then bring you money but it's not gonna be an overnight thing so that's what fasting that's how fasting creates brings miracle <laughs> But it has nothing to do with God and heaven and spirit and all that, no. Our ancestors used to fast to cleanse their body. We are still doing that today. In fact, me speaking, as I'm talking to you guys right now, I started, I, I've been on, on water fasting since Wednesday. Today is Sunday. I haven't eaten nothing. I've been drinking water, but look at me. Do I look like I've been fasting? No. I've been fasting and I've just finished walking out. I've just finished doing five, six kilometers. Five and a half kilometers of jogging. I'm not tired. I feel very like, I, I, you know, I, I feel very alive. My eye is so clear. My, my, my mind is so clear. So, you know, I, I just feel good. So that's what fasting can do. Fasting cleans you up. No. Fasting cleans you up. Not up. Fasting cleans you up. Fasting cleans you out at the... Uh, uh, is it molecular level? No, at the atomic, at the tiny tiny level the microscopic level of your cells it cleans you out fasting when you fast if you want to do dry fasting like what I, I usually do what i always do once a month i do it once a month a week i take one week out of the out of the month and just stop eating drink only water for one week it will clean me out cleans all my this thing everything my mind i would like see see uh, I, 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 I used to suffer high blood pressure. I used to suffer sleep apnea. I used to suffer obesity. I was able to get rid of those things. I was able to get rid of those things. Am I blood pressure free? I'm sleep apnea free. I don't have obesity no more. I weigh 75 kilograms now. I feel... I, 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 in my age or at my age now I, I, I can do things most people in their 30s can't do that is the benefit of me fasting that is what fasting can do for you fasting is going to clear your mind it's going to help you focus. You're going to come up with good ideas. And you're going to be able to put these ideas into practice. <coughs> Fasting will make you concentrate. I've been able to get rid of my... Uh, 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 of some of the problems I used to have. The only problem I'm still... Uh, I am still um, struggling to get rid of are toxic people I'm still trying to get rid of toxic people in my life you know um, he thinks they're funny you know say you get people where we say you won't get rid of them but you know one 
become their enemies you know like your relatives you know you want to get rid of them but in, in, in an amicable way you, know, you still want to be friends with them but you want to like put them on the you know so now only the now the only thing where I, I, I still the struggle now to deal with, with that my business partners my co-workers i don't make them understand say me and them be co-workers business partners that me and them no be friends because before before we used to interact as if we were friends and they were taking that for granted and you know when you have negative people in your life they bring problems and problems create um, these things stress and stress causes things like high blood pressure anxiety and all that it makes you think unnecessarily it makes you think about things you shouldn't think about you know it, it distracts you from focusing on the positive things and then you start thinking you know how you fit deal with this negative person instead of thinking of how you fit come up with a better idea to help people to solve the world's problem you know so um i don't let my co-workers my co-business people know say we be workers we be co-workers we do business together but we are no friends once we are done once our business dealing is done we are out i don't know you you don't know me so and since i started doing that you know I, I, i've been able to like cut down the level of stress in my life to like i think 60 percent also so now waiting remain now is be the people closest to me like my very close people like my family people just try to like cut them out a little just cut them out. those friends i don't get rid of friends i know i'm not keeping any friends i don't need them I'm just me, 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 my son, my daughter's finished. So that, you know, I feel if you're able to do this or that, you feel different. You feel, you know, you, you can focus. You focus on the important things. You don't waste your time focusing on unimportant things. You focus, you have time to focus on things where it makes sense. You have time to focus on things where they're productive. You have time to focus on things where they are um, positive trust me so once in a while once in a while at least if you can do it like me once every month once every three months once every six months take one week and stop eating just stop eating it has a lot of benefit health benefit it will one one it will bring your level of insulin down it will bring your insulin level down and insulin causes wahala in your body most of the wahalas where you they happen where they happen in your body most of the stress where you get most of the anxiety the high blood pressure the diabetics where you they suffer or that person where you sabi your relative your mother your dad your brother uncle anybody where you sabi where they suffer those kind of things that insulin causes them and insulin they only, your body they produce insulin anytime you eat anytime you eat your body produces insulin so waiting happen if you stop eating your body no go produce insulin so your insulin go go down and all your metabolic problems go disappear see see eh? see eh? I, I, like i talk and say i don't believe in magic i don't believe in miracles a, a, every problem every problem where we they go through every wahala way you get where you they go through now you take your hand cosa now we carry our hand cosa i could explain that but first if you fast the things if you fast the thing where they go on inside your body, science no can explain. They, they don't try to explain them, but nobody has been able to really explain it out. What happens in your body when you fast? It's not going to kill you. 
it's not gonna kill you sometimes it's gonna make you uh, um, uh, the first two three days it, it, it's gonna make you want to go crazy a little why because of the um, uh, because is it the ketones or something that they will start fighting you all the negative the bad bacterials the bad microbes uh, um, um, but the bad microbes you know the bad things in your body those things who the, the, those things where they feed on those bad things where you they eat those things where they feed on the pomo they feed on the sugar the tea the bread the biscuit and they, all those things where you they eat, where you're not supposed to eat, those negative bacteria, eh, them go start to fight you when you deprive them of their source of energy. Then the good ones, if you're not doing water fasting, dry fasting, if you're doing fruit fasting, if you're doing a smoothie fasting, you could now begin to take in lots of them. Um, of um, fiber now the good bacteria inside your body will start fighting the bad bacteria they will try to kick them out them could try to clean house this could send signals negative signals to your brain and your brain could start to react and you could begin to go crazy you will feel like sad you will feel weak you will feel angry you could have uh, mood swings up and down like I said, I'll be making, if you've been paying attention, and if you don't notice, I started this video speaking English, right? And I don't switch to speaking Fiji, right? Yeah, because I wanted to, like I said in my previous video, I want to try as much as possible to keep it very simple so that every Niger people can understand and understand me. Uh, so I, I don't want to be speaking English like uh, sounding like I'm from England. No, I'm not from England. I'm a white woman. I'm, I'm Nigerian, bona fide. So let's keep it Niger, 100%. So the good bacteria, them go start to fight the bad bacteria. And this will send negative signals to your brain. And your brain will react and start to release hormones that will make you want to go back to eating, 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 eating to fuel your bad bacteria to counterattack the good bacteria. But if you stick to your guns you know if you if you hold on and like no 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 i have a target i have a target i have a target i don't want i'm not gonna eat these things again after five days after five days your good bacteria will pull, uh, your good bacteria will prevail you will go back to normal but meanwhile don't forget after three days if you're doing dry fasting after three days you you won't feel hunger again you won't feel hunger again because your body will tap into the fat that, that would, would, your body could tap into the fat where your body don't they store for so long all the fat where they your face all the fat where for your legs all the fat where they your belly that your big tummy where they make you look like you're pregnant your body will tap into those extra reserve yeah it will start using them burning them so you won't feel hunger again you could feel hunger in uh, 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 after 14 days or after 20 days. Now you could feel a little hunger. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 you can say miracle. I, I can understand why people used to like, or, or I can understand why people tack it miracle. They call it a miracle because it's like magic. I don't believe in magic, but it's like what you call magic. So your body will tap into that, into the extra fat. This, this stuff. all those things you see on your body, your body looking oily, and you think you're wealthy. No, no, no. no. You, you think you're rich. Say, say you get more, more money. Your body they fresh. Your body they oily. Your body will go into those tiny places and remove, use all them fats, burn them out. Now it make you lose weight. You're not losing anything in your body. Now only those fats could come out. Your body could start making use of them as well. Because now it make your body be in the store them to begin with. Because anytime you eat anything, anytime you eat anything, and don't forget, some people 
eat when they are not hungry. Because there is a difference between you being, you feeling hunger and your stomach being empty. You have to understand these two things. Some people eat whenever they feel the hunger, but their stomach is not empty. You should only eat when your stomach is empty, not when you're hungry, not when you feel the hunger. That feeling of hunger is um, is a metabolic reaction. It's a, it's a mind trick. <laughs> Maybe I call it like that. It's a mind trick. That feeling of hunger and a mind trick. The things inside the bad microbiota inside your intestine, they send this negative gas to your brain. Your brain will, they will trigger your brain. Because your brain, see, the people talk saying that your brain and I they control your activities, your life. No, not your brain. Your stomach controls you. Your stomach controls your brain. We have two brains, one and two. The number one is your stomach. The first brain is your stomach, your gut. The second brain is the one in your skull. Anything the one in your skull does, whatever signal the one in your skull does, it must have received instructions from the one down here. I'm not making this up. <laughs> I'm telling you guys the fact. Anything, anything your brain asks you to do, anything your brain instructs you to, or commands you to do, it must have been told by your gut, by, by your gut bacteria to do it. <laughs> Now, it make if you walk into a shop, if you walk into a supermarket, you go to that area where them they sell sweets. You go see the colors. Right? Now, it make companies they use different colors on packages, on biscuit packages. They go design them. They use these colors because then they play tricks on you. When you walk into that department, your brain will see it because your eye, your eye, your gut bacteria. As they use your eye to see these things. So once they see that thing, your body, it's not your brain that will start to walk with no, your stomach will start to move. Pay attention. If you think I'm fucking the, or if you think I'm lying, if you think I'm making this up, pay attention. Next time you walk into a place and you see something you feel like eating, pay attention to how your body is gonna react. Next time you walk into a place and you see they are cooking food and that food is delicious, it smells nice. Pay attention to your body. You see the first place in your body that will react, where go react, could be your stomach, not your brain. Not your head. The first place in your body where you could react could be your stomach. Your stomach will start to turn. So sometimes you fit no notice. Sometimes you fit no notice. But if you pay close attention, your stomach could fit to small, could turn small. Then your mouth could start to water. Then your brain then will kick in and triggers this hunger hormone. And you start feeling hungry. You start feeling like, hey, 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 hey I feel like eating this thing. I want to eat this thing. I want to eat this thing. I want to eat this thing. See now, I don't talk. They go out from way, way, thing. I've been one talking. So, anytime you're sick, anytime you get, you catch a little cold, you're sick, you know, fit move, waiting to happen. You stop eating, your body shuts down, Abby. Your brain shuts you down. Stop eating. It shuts you down because it wants to heal. It puts you in fasting mood because it wants to heal. So fasting, fasting do works miracle, but it no be that kind of miracle where they tell you say that from Jesus. Yeah, no. Fasting could bring your insulin level down. Because if they if they continue to eat, they eat. Why your sick be say you eat too much? You eat too much. You just keep eating and your body keeps producing insulin, insulin. And when this insulin get 
don't be too much when the insulin is too much in your body you have what they call insulin resistance it puts you into diabetic mood you become diabetic so fasting the work miracle fasting will do a lot in your body Get something where I've been once say, but it be like, say, I don't forget that small. So if I remember, I go make another video. I go make like a sequel to this video if I still remember. Them. But the thing I could tell you be say, once in a while, once in a while, just stop eating for a week, at least for a week. If you know if you do dry fasting like me, do fruit fasting. Eat only fruits. Eat um fruits vegetables don't drink juice don't do juice fasting don't juice things and start drinking it no don't press the fruits and drink the juice no that is worse than you eating instead of doing that just continue eating if you want just if you want the juice just eat the fruits like that so once in a while fast to clear your mind it will help you focus to cleanse you up and then it will just improve your health, your overall well-being. So that's all I can say for now. And um, we've launched Crack House Radio. You can listen to African music, African music from the 80s, African music from the 90s, Afro beats and all that, hip hop and all that, talk shows and podcasts. And yeah, it was launched on February on January the first. Yeah can tune in at um so at www.dakide.com um, or you can just click the, the, there is a radio this thing button on top of my channel just click it and it will take you direct to the radio station you can listen to live music and live talk shows and podcasts it's crackers entertainment yeah so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and um i i i, I want to be creating original contents from now on but uh, once in a while i go to post on musical videos and all that but i don't want to like um, depend on so solely on on musical videos and, or, or on music videos anymore because i'm just like yes, some of them videos i don't get the copyrights today man i'm beginning to have problems i don't like when they start sending me copyright warnings and all that yeah so um thanks for watching and subscribe like and share and always um stay true to yourself try as much as possible to stay healthy eat healthy and um, once in a while go for a walk and um yeah once in a while go for a walk and before you do that um, before you begin the fast i would like once in a while I do this eh, eh, in fact, if you know fit fast, once in a while, just um, go to a secluded spot, like a place where people know too much, a forest, a jungle, a bush, whatever you want to call it. Just go there and, um, you know, um, uh, but before I say that, let me say this first, you know, we are human beings as much as we might want to call ourselves whatever advanced human beings developed people civilized people whatever at the end of the day we are animals and look at it like this and um, we were created and placed on this planet by something i don't know what i don't know whom I don't know by whom, I don't know by what, but we were created by something. We were, we were created alongside the plants and the other creatures of this planet. In a, when we were created, we, the creator did not put clothes on us. The creator did not create us and place us in a house. The creator created us and placed us on the planet in the jungle. Like I said, I'm an African. I'm 
I'm an African, 100%. I believe in nature. I believe in nature. I, I believe in life. So the creator created us and placed us in the jungle. We, we were not wearing clothes. We were not wearing clothing. <coughs> we were not living in a house in the jungle. In that jungle, we didn't build a house. We lived in that jungle with other creatures of this planet. We were running around, running about naked with no clothes on. We were eating things that was created and planted in that jungle by the Creator. The Creator did not create medicine. The Creator did not create drugs. We were fine. We grew with the other animals with the other beings, we mature, we rape them, and we died. No, we are, we grew, we reproduced, we died, our young ones carried on, reproduced, died. Life was going smoothly and fine. Why am I saying this? What do you make me to say all these things? What do you make me talk like this, be say? When we were created, we know we can get paracetamol. We know we can get drugs. We know we can get high blood pressure drug in the forest, in the jungle. Why? Because we were not suffering high blood pressure. Because we were not suffering diabetics. Because we were not suffering all those things. We were not sick. We know been they get malaria. So. If not so. Then been creators. Put inside the jungle. With things inside the jungle. It means say the same creator. We been creators. Been create things. Inside that same forest, we've been supposed to sustain our lives. It means say we were supposed to eat from that jungle. We were supposed to eat all the things we've been they grow in that jungle. We were supposed to eat the herbs, supposed to eat the seeds, the fruits, the leaves in the jungle. So, You they follow me, Abby. Waiting make you come to take drugs now. So what different where your drugs, your orthodox drugs now could make past the herbs where you suppose go into the forest to dig up, clean, cook it and drink it. I don't know whether I would say I want to try talk now makes sense to you guys. It get things where we they do, where we not supposed to, and you need a higher level of enlightenment to understand some certain things where they happen on this planet. I don't talk. I mean, one other video where I don't record like a while ago. Say for you to heal yourself, in order for you to heal yourself, you face of all must believe and accept that you were created as an animal and placed on this planet to dwell alongside the other creatures of this planet. That for you to heal yourself, you have to go back to being a human, an animal. That's the only way you can heal yourself. That's the only way you can get rid of your problems. You can get rid of stress. Get rid of all those things. That's the only way. You have to forget everything. You have to let go of everything. Before you fast. Before you fast. Anytime you want fast. Before you fast. Go to a secluded spot. 
a spot where people know today, a forest, a jungle, a bush. When you get there, if you're driving while in your car, take off your rigs wash, take off your jewelry, take off everything. If you don't want to go butt naked, take off your clothing and just leave your pants on, take your shoes off, take your socks off, walk into the jungle and spend at least 10 minutes inside the bush, inside the jungle, inside the forest, whatever. Forget about your stress. Let go of your stress. Let go of your problems. Don't think about your bills. Don't think about your children. Don't think about nothing. Just dwell in that forest for at least 10 minutes. Reconnect with Mother Nature. Just reconnect. Kneel down. Touch the earth. Touch the ground. And just dig your hands into the dirt into the earth let your hands be dirty just be just be one with life with nature i do that once every week before i start joking i do that i drive to i i i i, I have all the workout kits at home but i don't use them i go to the forest to jog, to jog. there's a reason why before I start joking, I'm butt naked. <laughs> I'm always very lucky that people... Who don't see me? But I don't care. When, when I'm in that mood, I don't care. I don't think about nothing. Reconnect with nature touch the ground, be at peace with myself. Trust me. A anyway, I, 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 I understand why they call a miracle. <laughs> I'm Henry Crackhouse and you're still watching Crackhouse on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe and think about what I've just said. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay true to yourself. I'm out.